five games you should play on your smartphone. First, why should you play games? Before I get to the answer, let me clear something up. I definitely don't mean every game. And just like most things, gaming should also have limits. So I will not suggest you to spend your money in buying these games or spending money on microtransactions, which are upgrades or abilities etc. sold within a game. I will also urge you to manage your time in the most constructive way possible as it is the most valuable resource we have. Now to answer the question, you should, everyone should play games as it helps in developing problem solving skills which can be put to good use in the outside world. It makes you mentally agile and alert, which is never a bad thing. Your dexterity will improve along with your reaction time. A number of scientific studies show that it improves your memory, but do play responsibly, as there are two sides to every coin. Number 5. Doodle Jump a platforming game initially released on 2009 and available for both Android and Apple devices. It is free to play and requires 61 megabytes of storage space. This gameplay was recorded by me. The speed increases as you progress to higher levels and there are different themes to try out. Overall, a good game to test out your reflexes and spend a few minutes every day. Number 4. Really Bad Chess A mobile chess game initially released for iOS in 2016 and a version released for Android in 2017. It is free to play and requires 30 megabytes of storage space. It is a game of chess with an unconventional format, as random pieces are assigned to both you and your opponent. You are given better pieces to start and your opponent gets better pieces gradually depending on your progress within the game. No need to worry if you have never played chess before and are unfamiliar with the rules, as a simple tap on any of your pieces will highlight all the possible moves you can make. There are daily boards which you can try only twice every day. So if you play only daily boards, you don't run the risk of spending more time stuck to your phone than you should. Number 3. Flow Free A puzzle game initially released for both Android and Apple products on 2012. It is free to play and requires only 14 megabytes of storage space. The line puzzles start out simple and easy but as you start unlocking new levels, the puzzles grow bigger and your brain starts to sweat. A simple and yet excellent game to test out your brain and save yourself from boredom. Number 2. The Alto Games Alto's Adventure and Alto's Odyssey are two endless snowboarding video games released in 2015 and currently available in both Android and Apple products. Both games are free to play and require 53 and 72 megabytes of storage space respectively. I know these are two games crammed inside number two, but they are more like the same game with two different themes. So you can choose either one of them or think of this video as a list of six. The player character automatically moves to the right of the screen through a rather scenic landscape. You tap on the screen to jump and perform tricks. This is more of a therapeutic game with a serene feel and calming landscapes. The color palette is an added blessing on the eyes. Number 1. Brain it on. A pun on bring it on. Or perhaps it is not a pun and rather a warning as it is a deceptively challenging physics puzzle game. Available on both Android and Apple products, it is free to play and requires 32 megabytes of storage space. This is undoubtedly the hardest game on this list. 
but if you possess the brain power and are able to master up the patience, solving the puzzles is highly rewarding. All of these are offline games and don't require you to stay connected to the internet to keep playing. I have played each of these games extensively in the past and I will recommend them to anyone new to the world of gaming and will suggest you to install just one of these first. A neat trick is to disable your internet while playing these games to avoid all the annoying advertisements. Video games like most things need to be handled responsibly and used as a tool for our benefit. I hope you learned something new from this video and I wish you a happy and fulfilling gaming experience. Thank you for watching.